Hello everyone. Welcome to aptitude jab. This set says that a woman took a certain number of eggs to the market and sold some of them. Now the next day her hens had doubled the number of leftover eggs and she sold the same number as the previous day. Now on third day the new remainder was tripled. So whatever was left over that number was tripled and she sold the same number as before. On the fourth day the remainder was quadrupled. Quadrupled I hope you know it is becoming four times. Okay, and her sales was the same as before. On the fifth day, what had been left over were quintupled. Quintupled means became five times. And still her sale was the same as all of the previous occasions. And hence her entire stock was empty. So on the fifth day, her stock was completely empty. Okay, now in this question, <coughs> Sometimes we are given the number sold on each day or the number she started with, right? So if either of the two things are given, so if the number sold on every day is given, then we go in the reverse way. If the number she started with it is given, we could have started from the beginning and sold it, right? But we are not given any of the things. So what we will assume, we will take a variable. Let us say she starts with X and her sale was Y. Okay, so uh, accordingly we will find that how much uh, she uh, sold on each of the days. Okay, so we have five days, day four and day five. She starts with X, sells Y. So what will happen to the remainder? The remainder will be X minus Y. Okay, on the first day. Now, on the second day, what will happen is this will become two times. We will multiply this by two. So, this is 2x minus 2y. She sells y. So, now she is left with 2x minus 3y. Now, this remainder has become three times on the next day. So, this will be 6x minus 9y. She sells y again and her remainder will be 6x minus 10y. Okay. Now this remainder becomes 4 times on the next day. So that is 24x minus 40y. She sells y again. So the remainder will be 24x minus 41y. And then again this thing is multiplied 5 times. Okay. So 5 times multiplication will give 120x minus 205y okay and she again sells y so that becomes 120x minus 206y okay now it is given to us as that this value is 0 right now x and y can take multiple values we will say that 120x is equal to 206y if we take it to the simplest form, that is 60x is equal to uh, 103y or we can say that x upon y, the ratio of x and y is 103 and 60. Okay, so that is the ratio that we will get, right? Now, we these values can take, uh, these can take multiple values, right? X and Y, if we multiply by 2, that will be 206 and 120. It can be multiplied by 3, 4, 5, any number, right? But if you talk about the smallest number, see the question asks, what is the smallest number of X she could have had? So, smallest number possible is 103, okay? So, this is 103. And what is the smallest number of X she could have sold daily? Okay, so that number will be 60. Now let us verify. If you want, we can verify this value. So 103, if she sells 60, she will be left with 43. Okay, and if she doubles it, that will become 86 on the next day. Selling 60, left with 26. 3 times 78 minus 60, 18. Okay, 4 times 72 minus 60, 12. And 5 times 60, 60, that is 0. Okay, so that is the least that she could have taken to the market, right? Now, the second question is, uh, we have done these two questions. Third question is, how many eggs was she left with at the end of the third day? Now, if someone has solved this, it is very natural that people might answer 18 as the answer, okay? But 
see this this is one of the values right? if we take the the second value that is uh, 206 and 120 Get 86, right? 86 into 2 is 172, minus 120 will give us 52. 3 times is 156, minus 120 that will be 36. 4 times 144, okay, minus 120 will give 24. 5 times is 120, minus 120 is 0. So this is basically a ratio. Okay, so uh, if we see, if we multiply this by two, we get the double the answer. That is, instead of eighteen, we get thirty-six, right? If we multiply, suppose we take three times of this, we would get fifty-four, and so on. So it is a multiple of eighteen, right? So we can say that eighteen n, where n is a natural number, right? So we cannot determine the number of x left with her because we are not considering this condition. It is generally asking that how many x she has at the end of the third day. Right. All right. So this is uh, the answer. Now the fourth question says use the data calculated in the first question. So we will have to use that 103 and 60 values. Now it is saying that if she took 20 more eggs to the market on the first day. So it means it, it is saying that we have to use x is equal to 123. It is specifically mentioned that use the data calculated in the first question. So we have to consider this data. If she took 20 more eggs to the market on the first day and the same set of events happened like doubling, tripling, quadrupling, etc. Okay, how many eggs should she sell on each day such that her stock lasts for four days? So her stock has to go for four days. Now, if her stock gets empty in four days, so that means 124x minus 41y should be equal to zero. Okay, if the stock has to go for four days. Okay, so we have taken that x is equal to 123. We have to find the value of y. So 41y is equal to 24x. So we'll get the value of y as 24 into 123 by 41. So three times that is 70. So the answer to this question is 72. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.